So we started off today in her chassizus, and let me share a thought with you, a share a thought that to me has tremendous appeal. There are two different mitzvahs that regard our dress. A person needs to put on tefillin, and he needs to put on tzitzis. So a very fundamental question, why is tefillin a chiyuv and tzitzis is not? Tzitzis is defined as a mitzvah kiyumis. If you don't wear a baggage of Dalat Kanfis, you don't need to put on scissors. Depends on you. So why is Mitzvah Tfilin imposed on us and Mitzvah Tfilin is not? My feeling is this. On one hand, we find in Chazal Kol Yisrael B'nei Malachim. We are royalty. We are children of a Kodesh Baruch Hu. Rabbi Shimon says in various different sources and Shas Kol Yisrael B'nei Malachim. But we are also servants and slaves. And in Kedushan Lamed Hay, we find the Machloik is Rameyer and Rabbi Yehuda. One of we defined as Bonim and when as Avodim. But we are both Bonim and Avodim. Tefillin indicates Malchus. Kesa Malchus al Roishoi. Very basic aloha over be your mission put him in a tfilin. Because by tfilin, the Posik says, Peer hu chavish olecho, that's your peer, that's your beauty, that's your crown of glory. And an awful is beefer, not be peer, peer tachas eifer. So, Tvinan comes to remind us that we are royalty, we are B'nai Malachim. Regarding Tzitzis, the Gemur says, Amenochus Mem Gimel Omed Beis, Tzitzis is a choysim shel tit, and Tzitzis explains on the spot, it's a beged of Avdus. Kodesh Baruch Hu imposes Malchus on us. He does not want to impose Avdus. Kodesh Baruch Hu very much prefers that we opt to Avdus out of our free will, out of free choice. And therefore, Tvinin is a chiyuv. Tzitzis is not. So, I told this story a thousand times, and I heard it many years ago from the Leif Simcha, the Rebbe of Gur. He heard the story from his great father, the Imri Emes. So the Imri Emes related and told the story, once this was Emes, in his tish and sukkah says, Hashem de When you say Ono Hashem and Halal, you could achieve the greatest heights. And the Imre is told his children, there was a machloikis, an argument between Zikne and Hasidim, the elders of the Hasidis. Does he mean Ono Hashem or Shino, or maybe Ono Hashem at no? But the Imre Emes said, I understood that he means neither Ono Hashem or Shino, nor Ono Hashem at no, but rather, Onu Hashem ki ani avdecho, ani avdecho ben amosecho. Ad kan divrei arav. So that's the story I heard from the Lev Simcha. And let me share with you my interpretation, my understanding of this story. So what is the difference between Onu Hashem Hashiyono and Onu Hashem Hatzlichono? On one hand, and Onu Hashem ki ani avdecho. Ono Hashem Hashiyono, Ono Hashem Hatzlichono, is Aleph Nun Aleph. That's a plea. That's a bakosha. Please, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, help. Please, give us success. Give us salvation. Ono is Aleph Nun Hei, Ono Hashem Kani Avdecho. That is an expression of gratitude, of thanks. Twice in Rambam do we find the expression Simcho Yesera. Twice and only twice in the entirety of Mishnah Torah. The end of Hilchas Lulav, the Rambam writes, Afar Pisha Kol HaMoye De Mitzvah L'Smoich Bem, B'yamei Achag O'Yisho Shom Simcho Yisero. All the Yomem Toiv, we have a mitzvah. V'Sumachto B'Chagach Avohi Suach Sameach, but Sukkot, there was special Sumach. So we find in the Rambam, Chag HaSukkot, there was more Simcha than any other Yom Tov. Peri Gimel of Hilchas Chanukah, when the Rambam teaches us the Dinam of Halel, the Rambam writes, 
אין אוהם מן המהלל בראש השונה ויום הכיפורים, לפי שאין אלו יומים של שמחו יסערו, אלו יומים של ירו ופחד. So we say halal metoch simchi yaseira, and sukkah says simchi yaseira. So let's just think of it a moment. Stands a Jew, kiflayim b'simchi yaseira. Simchi yaseira metoch simchi yaseira. Halal, sukkah. And he says, thank you, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Thank me for what? Ki ani avdecho. You let me serve. What did you say? Yes. Thank you for having me as an Evid. Thank you for letting me serve. That is Simchesu Avdus. All the other people of the world that work in the fields, Heviyanu HaMelech HaDorov, No Gilu Venismach Uboi. We are the Melechs, the king's private servants. What is Chus? And that is Simcha Yisairo. Simchas Avdos is the greatest Madrege you could ever aspire to and achieve. I quoted the Gemara in Kedush Lamedei. When we define this Bonam and when is Avodim? Bezman Shoy Sanatsan Shemokim Kriya Bonam. So, did you ever ask the question, why is Moshe Rabbeinu defined in the entirety of Torah's Moshe as an Evid? And why not as a Ben? Vayom Hashem Moshe, Eved Hashem. Loi Kain, Avdi Moshe. Madua loi Yoreisem Ledaber, Ba Avdi Be Moshe. Throughout history, slaves never savored and enjoyed slavery. They always tried to escape. They always tried to run away. And that was a struggle slave owners always had. And not only individuals, millions of people died for democracy, for their freedom. Very rare in history that slaves chose slavery out of their free will and free choice. It is only once in the story of the world that an entire nation opted for Avdus. And that is Bnei Yisrael Kishig, Dimu Nasa Lenishma. So Moshe Rabbeinu, yes, was an Eved, but he was an Eved out of free choice. And that is greater than being a Ben. So Shabbos in the morning, in our tefillah we say, Yismach Moshe B'Matnas Chelkoi. Ki Eved Nemon Karosaloi. Moshe was a paragon of Simcha Suavdus. And when a person has Simcha Suavdus, he goes all the way back to Har Sinai. Hegdimu Nasa Lenishma. And that is my feeling why this Vasem is said when we say Ono Hashem, we could achieve the greatest heights. He didn't mean Ono Hashem at Sichono or Ono Hashem at Slichono, but Ono Hashem Kenya Yavdecho. That is an expression of Simcha Suavdus. And when we have Simcha Suavdus, we connect to Moshe Rabbeinu. We connect to Mamed Har Sinai and to Ovis Abu Seinu that were Magdim Nasa Lenishma. And maybe that is why Tvilin is a chiyuv. Tzitzis is not. Tzitzis is a choysim shaltit, a baggage shal avdus, and a kodesh boch who prefers. I demand the malchus, but I hope that you will choose avdus as well. Yes, mitzvah tzitzis is a greater mitzvah than mitzvah tvilin. By tzitzis we find shkula mitzvah tzitzis. Can I get kol mitzvah shabbat we do not find a similar mamar lagabe tefillin. And the Bis Yosef, Simachofein Shechon Ochaim, explains why do we put on a talus and only then tefillin? Because Tzitzis is todil and Tzitzis is mekudosh yosem et tefillin. As a chefza, tefillin have more kedusha than Tzitzis. Tefillin are tashmisha kedusha. Tzitzis is only tashmisha mitzvah. 
But as a mitzvah, mitzvah sisis is more important and greater than mitzvah tefillin. V'yafal pikein. Tefillin is a chiyuv and sisis is not. HaKadosh Baruch Hu imposes malchus on us. Kol Yisrael b'nei malochim. This is your heritage. You are royalty. But Tzitzis, the Kodesh Baruch Hu very much prefers, I want you to choose Tzitzis. Because Avdus is only beautiful, is only sublime when it comes out of free choice and free will. We should always be Zeichet to be Avdei Hashem Metoich Simcha. And I always try to teach my Talmidim, my Chaveirim, a God-fearing Jew, should be the happiest person in the world. A home of Bnei Torah should be the happiest home in the world. A Jewish from society should be the most just, the most fair, and the most happy society in the world. Because we are Zeichet to be Avde Hashem. And out of the billions of people walking this planet, it is only the chosen few that have the schus to be av de Hashem. Lo imeru b'chem, ki atem hama'at mikol ho'amim. So let us be happy and let us rejoice and let us thank HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Ono Hashem, ki ani av dechem. We should be zorcha b'kura b'yameinu, to the great simcha. Of b'yaz goel tzedek, binyam b'yaz amigdash, v'simchas oylam al-gisham, Vemaheiro viomeno omeno.